So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I found a nice useful tool that you can download onto your Fire Stick that gives you a lot of information. So stay tuned, I'll show you what it is, show you how to download it. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. You know, looking for a new device. Go ahead and check out my description down below. Click on one of the links. No extra cost to you. Small commission does come to the channel and it helps to keep bringing you some more videos. So here we are on the home page of this tool that I'm talking to you about. That's kind of useful information. It gives you your IP address. It also go ahead and gives you the public IP. It gives you your SSID so you know what network you're connected to, your Mac ID, and your link speed. And then the ascending column, it shows you how much RAM you're using. 1.3 gigabytes used of 1.8 gigabytes. You look over to the left, oh, excuse me, to the right, and internal storage is 8.0 gigabytes used of 16 gigabytes. Now that's just in the home section. Let's come on over to click on network. You click on your network and it gives you more information with your IP address. It gives you your subnet, your gateway, your public IP, where you go ahead and you're connected to and your MAC address. Now I am connected to a VPN, so my IP addresses are not correct because I'm connected to the VPN. Talking about VPNs, anytime you're working on your Fire Stick, let's go ahead and get a good VPN. The one I recommend is IP Vanish VPN. Works really great, low prices, and you can connect multiple devices with no issues. So please, always stream safe and use a VPN, IP Vanish. Check it out in my description also. Click on that link. Again, no extra cost to you. Small commission does come to the channel and it does help out. Like I say, keep bringing you some more information on videos so here it is we went on over to the next one my files shows internal storage so i have 8.03 gigabytes free of almost 13 gigabytes which is 38 percent you come on down let's go over to the left here it says apk so you click on it it shows some of the apks that i have let's say we come on down to apk time Go over to the right, the three lines, click on it. Here you can open, you have your properties. You can go ahead and delete it, or you can share it, which is Bluetooth, and you can share it with whatever device you want to share it with. Let's go ahead and click on that back button. Here you have device information. Here it is, device, time for streaming. Then you go down and you see all the other information that you need to know. Current date and time, Eastern Standard Time. Come over to the right and let's click on apps. Here you can see all the apps that we have. Distro TV, Free TV, CW. You can go ahead, click on it if you want while you're in here. And what it's gonna do is open it right up. Go ahead, click that back button. We don't need to open it up right now. We're just going through for demonstrations. So let's go ahead, come on down again, click on storage. Give it a few seconds for the storage to open up. Here it is, all the storage. It tells you everything that's going on that you need to know about with the nice new graphs. Over to the right, developer mode. Click on it. Here it is, your ADB debugging. You have it on. And app for unknown sources, you could go ahead and either turn it on or turn it off. Go over to the right, the speed test. Go ahead, click on it. I haven't been able to get this one to work. Maybe one of you people can see what happens. Let me know if you do get it to work. Next, you got VPN. Go ahead, click on the VPN one if you like. Like I say, I use IP Vanish VPN, so I'm not gonna go ahead and use the VPN that is in here. Next is settings. Go click on settings and go through any one of these and click on it and change any type of options that you would like to. Once we're back onto the main screen, let's go back over to files. Click on files, come on down, go over to the left. Let's click on internal storage. Here you're gonna see 
all the items that are on your fire stick. One good thing about it is let's say you want to delete this. Let's click the right directional pad. Click the three lines and you got your properties and you can go ahead and delete if you like. Back over to the left, you have download. You can click on downloads. And you see it's just showing me a few. Now on the top, you got the four boxes. Click on the four boxes and it'll change the type of tiles. You can have the tiles or you just can have a layout. Also, if you go over to the three lines and you click on it, you can sort by name, last modified, size, and type, and only this folder, ascending or descending. Go ahead, click that back button. Come back over to the left, and let's go over to where it says images. If you have any images on your Fire Stick, it will show up here. Same thing with videos, it will show up, audio, and of course, documents. Here you have some documents. One thing I like is user apps. Let's go click on user apps. Here's all the apps right now. If you scroll down and it shows it what's on my fire stick. So my last video I did was sleep sounds. I could go ahead and just click on this and it will open it up right from here. Or I could go over to the three lines, click on the three lines, open backup, uninstall properties, play store or share. Now play store, I tried and it works really good if you're on an Android device, let's say for instance, like an ONN device. But if I go to properties, what it's gonna do is just bring me right into the page where I can force stop it if I want and clear cache. Then I click the back button on my remote and I could go through all of these and do the same thing if I like. Also the same thing, you can just click on the three lines and you can delete, uninstall the app if you like to. Now, if you like it, go down to system apps, click on system apps. Here it is. Here's all the apps that are on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. Now, if you're really good and you see, oh, wow, I really don't need something in here. Again, go over to the three lines, click on it. And then all you have to do is go down and click on uninstall. But watch what you uninstall inside system apps, because you could go ahead and then find that you really need to do your Fire Stick because you deleted the wrong app inside it. Click that home button on your remote and let's go ahead and get this app that I was telling you about. It has a lot of good information in here. You wanna see how much storage something is using or you just wanna go in here real fast and delete something, seeing how much RAM you are using, how much space you have left. Very good little tool. So well, here we are on the home screen of the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. You wanna go over to find, come on down to search, click on search, and you just wanna type in the following. You wanna go ahead and click on purple T, bring it on down to purple tools. This is the one that you wanna go ahead and download. But instead of typing it in, let's just go ahead and click on that back button. Let's go back over to search, click on search. And you see right here on the right hand side, it says, search faster with Alexa. So if you hold down the blue button on your remote, purple tools, that's all you have to say, and it's gonna bring it right up for you, nice and fast. You don't have to worry about typing anything in. On any apps and games is purple tools. Go ahead and click on it, give it a few seconds, and mine opens up. Now, if you don't have it installed already like I do, what it would do is come up and say, download your own it, click on download your own it, and then go ahead and wait for it to install. Then click on open and it'll bring you right back to where we were when we were doing the demonstration. That's pretty much for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think about purple tools. Useful, not useful? Just let me know. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, please remember to click on that like and subscribe and ring that bell. This way you know when I do put up some more videos. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.